Netnography is essentially the anthropological technique of ethnography adapted to the online environment. Um, the techniques of ethnography are really based on participant observation. Typically a market researcher or a consumer insight uh, manager or researcher would uh, choose a topic of interest to them. Uh, very typically it's a brand. Uh, maybe it's their brand, maybe it's their competitor's brand. And they want to see what are consumers' perceptions of that brand out in the realm of social media. For me, netnography is the concept of um, using social media as a platform for doing market research, very simply. About five years ago now, um, Michael Osofsky contacted me and he had uh, become aware of my work, I guess, uh, through the internet and through uh, internet searches, and wanted to talk about uh, the product he was developing, which I think was uh, Accelevation at that point, and its relationship to netnography. Um, one of the problems that I had always identified in netnography was you are swamped with data. Once you go into this online environment, you find that there is more uh, information, more cultural discussions, more conversations than you can humanly handle. A brand like Listerine uh, has had about mm, 80, 80 or 90,000 mentions in the past year across Twitter, Facebook, and the millions and millions of forums and blogs that are out there. Um, there is no way that anybody has time to look at that data certainly not in a corporate setting. It's impossible. So that's where our technology comes into play. We can read and understand those posts and with an accuracy level of 80% or better, we're able to understand the opinions, emotions, and behaviors that have been talked about in there. Typical market research is done with um, very expensively, it takes many weeks to do, and you can really only point it on one thing. But when you start using social media, you can look at any topic, anything, anywhere on this vast amount of information very easily and quickly. Companies, particularly large Fortune 500 companies, have gotten into this mode where if they've got a research question, they pick up the phone and call their, their agency. And that model made a lot of sense when, tr with traditional forms of research, it would cost tens of thousands of dollars and take months to put together a focus group or a survey or what have you. But social media presents a, a new challenge and a new opportunity because some of that research, some of those questions can begun to be answered in a matter of uh, hours, if not minutes. There are many organizations that would never spend the dollars they need to to look at their competitors. There's no point, it's too expensive. But with social media bringing the cost down, you can point that lens in any direction and have the ability to, to study things that typically you wouldn't have had the budget to in the past. There's two schools of thought. There would be the school of thought where you find a particular community, like a forum online, and you really immerse yourself in that particular uh, community. The other approach, which is really where NetBase's technology fits in, has to do with uh, looking at social media in its aggregate, not only across all the different social media outlets that are, that are available, from Facebook to Twitter to you know, your, your five forums that you belong to, but also over time, over the last year, what's really happened. You need a lot of data and, uh, in order to get a good understanding of the, the most significant things that are raising, uh, boiling to the top. I see netnography becoming more participative, more widespread, and moving up the levels of the company to affect management and strategy and the policy of, of business more and more in the future. Uh, it's going to be a real shift for corporations and people in general to conduct all this research that essentially amounts to innovation research, 
understanding of consumers, understanding of technologies, seeing how they fit together. One of the things we found is when we started doing work for the acquisition team, they started coming back to us and saying, it was amazing. You gave me insights about this and I went into the meeting and they were telling me what I had in my hands already. And it was work that we were able to do in, in days as opposed to something that was actually impossible to do. How can you do a dive on something in such a short period of time? We began to figure out how to apply technology to address this very issue of how do you conduct research online, whether it be market research or technology commercialization research. Uh, they both could make use of the web as long as you could uh, very, uh, very effectively and efficiently harvest and analyze all of the, the content that was out there. So that's what led to natural language processing. I could see uh, venture capitalists taking a look to understand the relevance of you know, the different ideas that are brought to them. I could see hedge funds doing their strategic work much less expensively, much cheaper and much faster to um, you know, decide what investments to make. Um, I see companies um, doing away with a lot of their traditional media and potentially having more money to spend in other places. Uh, I see people who uh, the, the marketplace is actually becoming incredibly competitive because small and medium businesses who are unable to do research at all right now suddenly will be empowered to compete. And when that competition happens, it only accelerates what's possible.